This week in lab, we're going to be looking at conductivity and using conductivity as a way to determine when a reaction occurs. So conductivity probes really aren't that sophisticated of pieces of equipment. And in fact, they can be really, really basic pieces of equipment. So what I have right here is actually a conductivity tester. So it's just a light bulb with two bare wires sticking down and a plug. So let me plug this in. And the light bulb doesn't do anything. Why not? Well, the wires aren't touching. So there's no way for electricity to flow through this circuit and light the light bulb. If I take just some plain deionized water from in the lab, nothing happens. Why doesn't anything happen? Well, when we say that water is deionized, our lab water is deionized, that means what? It's had all the ions removed. And in order to conduct electricity, we need to be able to move charge. We need to be able to move ions. So deionized water has no ions in it. What about the tap water in lab? We've got to be really careful about running our experiments using tap water because if I take a beaker that has tap water, and this is the tap water that came out of our labs, I can put my conductivity tester in it. Oh, and it's starting to glow. What does that mean? That means that the water in our labs contains ions, and it contains enough ions to allow some electricity to flow through that solution. Well, what if I really pump up the ions and let them float through solution? So I've taken some table salt and dissolved it in water and that conducts electricity really well. That's a very conductive solution because it has a lot of ions in it. So this is really the basis of the conductivity meters that we're using in class this week. In this case, we could make a rough estimate by how bright the light bulb gets. Conductivity meters actually measure the current flow through whatever we're testing. So here is this week's experiment. We're going to be looking at the reaction of barium hydroxide with sulfuric acid. And the process we're going to use is called titration. And titration is just a way to use the stoichiometry of a chemical reaction to let us determine the amount of one of those reactants that's present. So first of all, what about the conductivity probes? We actually have two different types of conductivity probes, but unless you look really closely, you probably won't notice the difference. So here is a conductivity probe that is a little bit older. Here is a conductivity probe that's almost brand new. They don't look very different. This one's a little shinier. The only real difference that you see is their connections. The older ones just have a little adapter in line. The newer ones don't. So functionally, they're going to work exactly the same way. It's just a matter of how they get hooked up. And they should all be hooked up already. So hopefully that's something you won't have to, have to worry about. So let me hook up one of these conductivity probes. And really, the inside of this conductivity probe isn't a whole lot more sophisticated than our light bulb with two wires hanging off of it. It really is just two electrodes that sample the solution we're looking at. So as with any instrument that we use, the first thing that we really have to do is calibrate it to make sure that it's set correctly. So here's where there's a, a slight error in your lab manual. 
Here's the conductivity probe meter box, and there's a switch on that meter box which selects the range of conductivities for your experiment. For this experiment, it actually works better if you switch it to the 0 to 20,000 range. Your manual, I believe, says the 0 to 2,000 range. So make sure that you move the range selector up to the 0 to 20,000 option before you calibrate your conductivity probe. Once you do that, this should be fine. Now, how are we going to calibrate this? Well, first of all, we've got to open up our Logger Pro software. Somewhere on your desktop, there should be a folder called Chem 150. Let's open that. And there should be an experiment called Conductivity 1, which is the experiment we're doing today. Double click that and it should open up a program called Logger Pro, which controls most of the sensors that we use throughout the semester. You'll probably come up with a box of some sort. For this one, if it asks you about changing sensor settings, tell it to use the sensor settings. And now our experiment should be set up and ready to go. The first thing we have to do, though, is calibrate the sensor that we're going to be using. So if we go up to the experiment menu and calibrate our Lab Pro Channel 1 conductivity sensor, we'll get a calibration window that's going to look pretty similar for a lot of the sensors that we use. So we've got current calibration is the conductivity 220,000 micro siemens per centimeter. We want to calibrate now. We're going to do a two-point calibration. So now we can take the probe and put it in deionized water. This should have a conductivity of zero. So, and keep an eye on this value. So fresh distilled water should have a conductivity of zero and sure enough, conductivity of zero. So the value of our first calibration point is zero. Click keep. That activates the second button. And that's done. Now, we should always rinse our probe off. And in this case, since it's water, it's probably not as important. But there's our deionized water. Now, I've got some calibration standard, and it says that this is a 1,000 microsiemen per centimeter calibration standard. If you look at the label on this standard, you'll see that right there, it tells you that this is a thousand microsiemen per centimeter conductivity standard. Take the probe, dip it in the standard, and you see that that number moved a little bit. That's exactly what we want it to do because we're calibrating. So once that settles down, and it's going to settle down to a pretty small number, we can come down here and tell it that our second data point is at a thousand microsiemens per centimeter. Let's keep that value. And now our sensor is calibrated. So let's click done. You see I'm still in the calibration standard here, so it's at about a thousand microsiemens per centimeter. As soon as I take it out, well now I've got it in air. So it's dropping down to essentially no conductivity at all. So our probe is ready now. What about our experiment?